Antifa abolish ICE protesters interrupt Biden's speech. Who responds by offering them a mic? And I'm calling the video version of this, which we're making right now. Well, we're making right now. Biden promises Antifa to appease their wishes to abolish ICE. There he is with a smiley face. There's Joe and his smiling face. Just a smiling, happy guy. Just a good-looking man. He is a good-looking man, I'll say that. His whole, the Biden family, good-looking family. And you know in America, if you're quote-unquote good-looking, you get a lot of doors. Good-looking privilege is probably the most privileged class that exists in America today. Couple that with money. Good-looking plus money. Mm -mm. You're in like Flynn, and this is a man who has both. So this is Biden Antifa protest ICE. Biden confronted by Antifa protesters in ICE speech is the topic report. And our first link here is protesters repeatedly interrupt Joe Biden at his car rally. And he tells them he agrees with their extreme cause. Give me another five days. And this is an excerpt written by, well, this is Carlos Garcia who wrote this excerpt. Well, he wrote the whole article, but we excerpt from it. President Joe Biden tried to get past an awkward moment with loud protesters interrupting his rally by telling them that he agreed with their cause, but they continued until they were kicked out. Biden was speaking at a drive-in rally near Atlanta. Drive-in rally. Ugh. Where protesters, when protesters began demanding that he shut down all detention centers and abolish the Immigration and Customs Enforcement Agency, Biden was celebrating his 100. Um, I, I could have said 100th birthday, and I would have believed it. End detention now! They chanted while the others chanted, "Abolish ICE!" And Biden responded, "We'll give you a microphone." And let's a little dig a little bit deeper into this little story here. There's Joe. There, there's Joe. And now stop tech censorship. Yes, but I don't want to uh, give you my email. Uh, oh, by the way, on a scale of one to ten, in terms of uh, trustworthiness, I give this site maybe about a six, five or six, which is pretty high for most factional sites. So, there. Take that for whatever it's worth. So, uh, oh, that's all you're gonna sell. Read more. Then there you go. Zeke, Zeke Miller tweets. Biden's speech interrupted by protesters shouting, end detention now and abolish ICE. They were escorted out by staff. Biden then responded that he agreed with their cause after they continued to interrupt. I agree with you. I'm working on it, man. Give me another five days. Folks, you all know what they're talking about. There should be no private prisons, period. None, period. They should not exist, and we're working to close all of them. That's not actually what they were, were shouting, but, but I do want to say, by the way, I... 100% stand with Joe Biden. Uh, hashtag stand with Biden when it comes to shutting down private prisons. <laughs> private prisons. So you're going to you're going to create a market that relies upon the profitability of cheap labor that they derive from people being in prison. I wonder why the United States of America has the most. I'm going to say the highest official percentage of human beings that are incarcerated in its population. I think China's population percentages well china's percentage is probably much higher uh that is well there's a lot of people in prison that aren't being accounted for also in china they kill you a lot lot faster and a lot easier so there's a lot of people that just get killed and they don't even show up on the prison roll so we want to keep that in mind but still at le at the very least amongst free nation quote unquote free nations uh quote unquote advanced nations at the very least we are by far and away the the country that happens to incarcerate the most amount of prisoners. And I don't know if other nation states have some degree of private prison. Uh, uh, well, I say a private prison industry or not, but but at any rate, the protesters were weren't there to. Uh, maybe some of them were talking about private prisons, but they were really there to abolish ICE, which is. Well, I mean, take it for what it is. And Joe Biden got interrupted, got a little bit flabbergasted, and let's see. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see if they if they if they show this here. Here he is. I want to thank you, the people of Georgia. And detention now. They're talking about detaining immigrants coming in. By the way, I hate the phrase illegal immigrant. Ugh, hate it. We'll give you a microphone. They'll give you a microphone. Ah. Uh. Uh. Uh, yeah. He's a little bit lost. He's a little bit lost there. Folks, 
doesn't know how to respond. He's a man that, that uh, does not know how to respond to anything outside of a very narrow script. And whatever you want to, whatever conspiracy theories that are out there, I'll just say this, that me from Naked Observation, I really don't feel like we have a quote-unquote president who has all of his faculties. George. Georgia was a uh, hundred days ago today when I was inaugurated. Now he's trying to get back on point. On the steps of the United States Capitol. Reading his script. To be your president. And I was looking forward to coming back and seeing these guys. Now he's he's a little bit a little bit flummoxed there. Doesn't know what to do. I agree with you. I'm working on. I agree with you. I'm working on it. Five days. Give me another five days. What does that mean? Give me another five days. Well, I don't know. That That's enough of that. Uh, you can watch the rest all by yourself. And I think we're going to end the report there. <laughs>